Polar Gridex Pro, of course. A little bit the same of the old Gridex, but some new, very nice features. So before setting up, let's just compare it with the 945 LTE. So the Gridex Pro is a lot bigger. I think it looks way better. And also the strap is really, really nice. It's a little bit... No, it's not really higher, but it looks like a little bit... Yeah, it is just bigger in all. And I'm gonna like uh, swim with it, cycle, and of course, doing the running. And I can't wait to just dive into the water there. So later on, we will compare it with other products like the other Polas Vantage M2 and Ignite, but also the 945 and also the 245. A little bit cheaper, which now let's just set it up. And like always, the tracking of heart rate and all other stuff are really, really great on Polas. The belts are changeable. Uh, there will be coming a titanium version, will, which will be, of course, more Expensive, but also 15% lighter, a little bit stronger. But what's really nice on this Pro, first new great feature, which I really, really like, is like the sapphire lens. So really, really strong. It's like a really outdoor watch, so uh, scratching to rocks or whatever. And if I go like cycling or running or doing like off trail things, uh, I don't want to look after it. I just want to use it how it's supposed to be. So it's really nice. It used to be Gorilla Glass, which is also good, but this is just stronger. I think only Diamond will be strong, but that will be very expensive. It has a uh, 130 sport profile, so you don't have anything uh, to wish. And before you go on, please hit the thumb up button. That will really help me and the channel to just grow. So that would be really nice. So it has touchscreen. So let's go and set it up. We're going to choose, uh, plus let's just show you some languages. Now we have to go back. So well, what is the first one? That's really interesting. Of course we want English. So looking through the lens to just touch it. So it will be not very uh, quick uh, on your computer, just on the watch. Yeah. Yeah. I can also connect it with my Polar profile, but just set it up. And like always, it didn't read any book. You get the books in the box, but it should be easy because nowadays, and I think like always, I and I think lots of runners just want a simple product. So that's uh, yeah, what it needs. So like this, yeah. Uh, day, why isn't it set up? Oh, that's a little bit too much in the future. So it's not really easy to touch it. But I, I think it will be better if you just look at the watch and not through this camera lens. Uh, today it's like, here yeah, then we touch this one. Today is like ninth. There we go. Check. Let's go back in time. It would be nice if you're looking at this video on my birthday. And if you want to say something, please let me know underneath the video. Just uh, tell me what you'd like to see of compared with another watch. I have like a Sunto and Poland, like every Garmin. Also like, uh, yeah, more like the Corvus. Uh, how do we do this? Hmm, can we just use this? Yeah, that's... It's better now. No, let's go. And can I also do this? Use this. And what I really like on this Pro are those great buttons. Not only great looking, but it gives you the feedback when just clicking them. It's really satisfying. And if you are like running, you just want to know sure you hit the button. And it's not only beautiful, and of course, you can get this Gridex Pro in other colors, uh, but it's really nice with this. Yeah, a little bit of nice stone, which is also here on this Vantage M2. So that's really polar -y. Let's just zoom in for you uh, to make it uh, good seeable. And now the 
other side also two buttons. So this is the GridX Pro, which is here on the side. And uh, what we get on this GridX Pro are those new compass-like uh, numbers and north, west, south, uh, sorry, east, west here. But you can't do like do anything with it. So it's really just some optical stuff, but you have it also on my Garmin Mark. I see this, I think also on some uh, Garmin Phoenix 6 and also on uh, some Suntos. So I think it's cool, uh, but let's just go into the weight in uh, kilograms. I just want to say check, okay. Regular, now I'm like more the frequent runner. And also, I also like to just go swimming when I'm just working at home and just dive into the water. It's just like uh, 50 meters uh, walk and then I can just dive in. Nowadays it's like uh, almost winter, although it's like really sunny, but I need to have the, the wetsuit. So the left hand, sleep, okay. Uh, yeah, eight hours will be nice. I don't think I ever manage that, but it's good to have a goal. Activity goal, uh, what do we have for goals? Heavy, yeah, let's just heavy. So I did like, to, uh, it's, it's <laughs> a little bit bothers me because I did a marathon like two and a half weeks ago, I, the Jungfrau, and uh, that would be a really good test of this product. But now we're here. So just at the beginning and like I said, notifications from the phone. The mode and I just want to make it a little bit brighter so I think that will be here or not what do we have for plus no we don't have that here uh, let's go back this these were the notifications so let's go just swiping it to the left why is there no daylight data? Okay, yeah, of course you connect it to the phone. Uh, you can just tweak it. The screen to body ratio is not really good. As you can see this black totally uh, round circle around it. It's just a material, it's not like the real screen, but uh, the sapphire lens is uh, over it. And which is nice, on this GridX Pro, uh, there's a little bit of stuff on the sapphire lens that really prevents it to from uh, getting dirty and I was testing it before and it's yeah it's also the case I didn't wash my hands before this but you can see it it's yeah it doesn't of course it gets dirty but not as fast as for example like uh, some uh, garments and Sunto so that's really uh, nice so let's just hit up some buttons uh, that's the same thing it's, uh, does it say something? No. Uh, then this one on the left. So go to it and go back. And then we just go through all these functions, the shooting. And what it of course has is uh, now some new things. So like uh, the compass, location uh, coordinates, the sunset, sunrise. Uh, so you have to be back before dark, for example. Uh, I don't know why that would be, but sometimes it's really easy. Uh, you have, of course, all the screens which you got on the GridX, uh, the normal one, let's call it that way. So the cardio load state, uh, the continuous heart rate tracking, uh, the weather, weekly activities, music, serene, and lots and lots more. Please see the videos on this channel. And I'll also put it below this video to the complete uh, and old normal uh, GridX. Uh, so if you have that, this will be uh, kind of uh, what you already know, but also some new things. So let's go to the settings. And then we go swiping. Do we swipe? Yes. So general. So it's set to low because yeah, they want to give you the longest battery life only with light now i just want to i want to change this how do we change it click yeah and what do we do then uh, why 
don't they understand this? So it's set to low. Oh, I should just <laughs> swipe it like that. So it's just how you would use it. I don't think you will read a book or just read everything on the internet. You will just go and use it and just, yeah, you want to have it easy. So, uh, perhaps we should go back to the home screen. Then we touch uh, this one again, and then we can just swipe it or just use this button. Perhaps you just should start a training. So you can uh, change the settings. Well, uh, when you push this, let me show you. Oh, just hit it. It's kind of hard uh, through the lens, but I already set it. Uh, connected, favorites. Yeah, you can just change everything. Or just go running. Yeah, there we go. And again, it gives you the nice feedback on the watch. And then you can just pause it or just uh, continue. And then, of course, change the screens. Which you, I think if you have like now a Polar, a little bit of recent Polar, so uh, Vantage or an Ignite or the old Gridex, you'll just recognize lots of screens. So we don't go very in-depth into those screens. But uh, yeah, what I like, it's good readable in sunlight, the Polar. Perhaps you have to just go outside uh, to just show you something in the sunlight. So uh, the real uh, test in real life. So there we go in the sunlight. There we see all the birds and nature stuff. And uh, yeah, is it good readable? It's like now it is cold outside, but it is really, really sunny. And yeah, just uh, make up your own mind, but I think it's good readable. So I just for the last time just show you the strap and of course you can change the strap if you buy like the more expensive titanium one in the future, you'll get a leather rest uh, strap. What's nice is this uh, Polar logo, there, there it is, there, just a small detail. Of course you can also choose like a normal black watch from Polar, but uh, of course, I like the functions on uh, like a pro model like this, but I also really like the look. So uh, if you like, for example, Sunto, which is also a very nice brand. Uh, yeah, I think this will compare. It will be a big competitor of like the Sunto. And if you want to see those videos, just uh, mention it below or just uh, see all the videos on this channel. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Please hit the thumbs up button. See you next video. And perhaps then I will be like in the water. So thanks, bye bye.